Hello everybody, welcome back to Grassroots NASCAR Racing. My name is Scott and today I wanted to give you guys a little walk around of the new car. That's right, we're going to check out the Terry Labonte 94 Oldsmobile. So I've already got it pushed out of the shop, so let's go ahead and get started. So here she is. Now I've been able to start poking around on this thing a little bit. Uh, I've cleaned it a little bit, cleaned the paint just a little bit. I've got some more work to do on that. And then I started on these back windows, trying to clean them up, get them a little clearer. And it's coming out good. She's shining up. But I've still got a lot more work to do. So, but man, this car is just so cool. I love it. I'm so glad that I made the trip and got this car. But as I'm digging into it, it's just, it's showing a lot of its little secrets to me. Uh, things that are original parts that just kind of pop out once you start digging into it. And I'll show you those later. But as you can see from the outside, she's in pretty good condition. I'd say the biggest thing on the outside is that a lot of the decals are uh, shrinking or cracking. And you can see that right here, like on the, this door number. It's peeled up a little bit there and then it's cracking. It's most prevalent there and then right back here. You can see that, it's, it's just barely attached right there. And then it's just popped up. And same thing on the other side. So that's an issue that's going to have to be addressed sometime. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still kind of trying to decide what to do about that. Um, and then it does have a few dings here and there. Now this is the biggest one. The most significant. You can see where at some point it bumped into something. So it's got a decent, a decent indentation right there. So the good news is, as I looked up inside, it doesn't look like it really hit the crush panel. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Uh, it's also got this one right here. Looks like it got hit just a bit right there and kind of separated. You can see where this is separated just a little bit. So, you know, for being 32 years old, it's still in pretty good shape. You got more of the, see these are just, ah, I hate seeing that, but, and they got some scuffs here and there. There's a little bit of paint missing in some spots too. Like see right here, I don't know if the, at one time they peeled this up or something and it peeled off some blue paint. It's got it in a couple places like that, right up here too, see? So I'm wondering if at one point they peeled off a sticker and it just peeled off a little bit of paint. But that's all right. Bottom's in pretty good shape. It's got one ding right here in the middle. But all of the screens, these are all in great shape, which is good. Even up here. Not bad. Uh, hood fits pretty good. It's got a little crack in the corner right here, just a tiny bit. And then you can see it does come down just a little bit low right there. So what I, I might do, I might take like a little bit of a fuel hose, cut off just a tiny little piece and put it over this post to bring that hood up just a tiny bit, but I can't bring it up much because then it's gonna be too high right here. So, and then the rest of it, it fits pretty good, especially in the middle here. That's, I mean, that's like perfect right there. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, and it's got one more ding right up here. Something kind of popped it right there and took a little piece out. But overall, not too bad. Like I said, these are, it looks like these have kind of shrunk a little bit. I'm not sure, and they've got a little bit of a wave in them. But man, what a beautiful car. Look at that thing. That is just sharp. From the golden age of NASCAR. To me, that's the golden age. Is like, you know, 89 to 95, somewhere in there. Those cars were just so great. Look inside. If any of you guys know what this is used for, see this thing? I have no idea what this is. I mean, it's attached. It had, 
I don't know. I don't know what that's used for. If you know, comment down below. Let me know what you think. But it's got, I mean, it's, it's a complete car. I love it. It does have a chassis number on here that's really hard to read because the paint is on it. Let's see if I can read. It looks like 320.89 is the date. And there's a little bit more there that I can't read, but you got the hoses coming down, pointed right to the driver. Got your ignition boxes down below here. There is one wire that runs from the alternator all the way to here. And you can see right here, it's toasted. That thing got hot and melted and it goes all the way. You can see it right there. All the way up to the alternator, it's toasted like that. So I'm gonna have to address that. There's the coils. I don't know why this one's not hooked up, but take a look at that. I love that it's got the sticker here, that, I mean, everything is just so original. If any of you guys have a period correct shift knob that would fit on that Hurst shifter, let me know. That's one thing that's missing. So if any of you guys can help me with that, that would be great. Let's pop around to the other side. Take a look. That's the cockpit driver area. Starting to sweat already. It's still, this is probably our last, oh, tomorrow I think is our last 100 degree day. It's like 101 today and it's supposed to be 104 tomorrow. But then we get highs in the 90s, thank God. It's only middle of September. So this is a HP chassis. And you've also got the HP switch panel there. All the gauges are good. This, I do need to address this. This stopped working. So I need to find out why that stopped working. I'll dig into that in a little bit. Gauges are good. That's the switch for the uh, electronic fans. Still got all the uh, heat material down here, but it's it's showing its age. So I might I don't know if I'm going to replace that or not. I kind of want to keep this car as original as possible. Show you the pedals up there. And I love this gas pedal. Look at that thing. Look at the way it's built. That is cool. You don't get to see up under the dash very often, so I thought I'd give you guys this view. Very cool though. I'm gonna take this seat cover off here, probably today or tomorrow. See if there's any markings on it. See if it's actually Terry's seat, which I have a feeling it might be, just judging by uh, some of the other stuff that I've found. Got your oil reservoir back there. And the lines that actually go all the way up front through the firewall. Got your nice Simpson net. Everything period correct. Love it. Love it. So let's pop open the hood and I'll show you what's under the hood. Here is where all the happiness takes place. <laughs> Look at that. Now, honestly, I don't know what this engine is yet. Um, the guy who advertised it just said it was a 350. I don't know about that. So I'm still kind of, kind of trying to do my homework on it and find out what it really is. I just know it's very dirty and needs a good cleaning. <laughs> but. You can see where the dry sump lines come in through right there. One goes up to here. 
and then down to the pump. Uh, you got your piece come around here. You got the filter up there, cooler in the corner, electric fans. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, a question for you guys: What is this? What is this blue? Is that like a, some kind of a ceramic coating or something that over time has turned blue or was blue? Because it's on the entire exhaust. I mean, underneath all the way out to the, to the corners. It's all blue like that. So what is that? I've never seen that before. What I do like on this and what I might, I might do this on the Mel Yellow car. I love the way that they routed the uh, spark plug wires. See how they come down and they run underneath rather than coming up top and over the valve covers like mine do these run underneath and come up behind it looks really clean really cool that way and it actually gets them kind of out of the way better so that's something i might do with mine and it's interesting how the uh all the braided lines have this over top of them and even the spark plug wires of you know I, like i've told you guys before i'm no nascar mechanic i'm new to all this too so i'm kind of learning as i go but these spark plug wires, they have the same kind of thing slid over them. The wires aren't that thick. That's some kind of thing slid over them. So, kind of cool. Well, let me show you some of the things that I've found here that are really neat. So, I was in here yesterday. And I would taken this off because I was trying to clean. So... I mean, I, I just, I've been just cleaning, getting the dust off. I did all this up here, you know, got the dust off some of that. And then I wanted to clean this. So I took this off. Get these off of here. And I've been finding some good things. You know, this is an original Terry Labonte car and it comes with paperwork signed by Terry. But when you can start finding parts that are actually marked, I don't know if you can see that. See it says TL245. That is cool. Set that down there. Yeah, when you can find parts that are marked like that, that are original parts, that is such a good thing. And look at this. I mean, this is all custom made stuff. The way they beat this into shape, made room right there. This is all welded by them. But look under here, also. See right there? TL245. That is great. So that was a cool find. I was really excited about that. And then once I had that off, I was cleaning these off, just getting the dust off. I don't know if you can see right there, They've etched onto that Labonte Racing. So, I mean, when you can find parts like this that have been etched by the team back in the day, that just is really cool to me. I love that. So, I'm going to keep digging on this car and see what more I can find. Here's that wire that I was telling you about. See how it's just toasted? All the way up. And I think it might have actually just rubbed here and see right there. I think it might have just kind of shorted out on that. I don't know. I'll dig into it a little bit more, but very cool. This has a, a number on it with a build date of 5-15-89. So that kind of matches the chassis back here. That has a 89 stamp on it. And this was a number one uh, skull car before it was painted up like this in 1991. So in 1990, it did run as the skull car. And I actually just noticed, I have popped this open for you guys too to show you back here. But when I was doing it, I noticed this. Look, right there. TL280, and there's something else under there. I can't read it, but more TL marked parts. That's awesome. And down here, let me see if I can find one that's easy. Here we go. I think this one has it. No, this one doesn't have it. Unless I can't find it on that one. Let me look over here real quick. But these have the marking as well. Yeah, see right there? T280. 
TL1. So this was from when it was a skull car. So that's cool, it's even got the correct wheels on it. But yeah, look right here. TL1. That's awesome. I hadn't noticed that, just found that. Top. Very cool. So yeah, man, I gotta clean back here bad. Look how dirty this thing is. Woo! Dirty, dirty, dirty. Pretty cool though. I love seeing these old school parts and setups. Now, of course, this is not original. I need to put a new braided fuel line in. I don't know who did this, but look at that kink. <laughs> That's horrible. So that'll have to be fixed. But everything looks really good in here. And you can see that dent that did hit the crush panel just a tiny bit. That kind of sucks. Yeah, you can see a little gap. Oh well. So yeah, what do you guys think? This car is pretty sweet, huh? I'm so excited to have it in the collection. Um, I'm probably going to be taking this car to Talladega at the end of October. There's some kind of a car show and like a, I don't know if it's a charity event, but they let us go on the track and uh, run decent speeds, I think, do a few laps. So I want to get this thing on the track and just see how she feels. I was able to take it up and down the street when I bought it, but I want to get this thing on a track and feel it. That'll be really cool. So, but I'm going to dig into this car more and uh, see what other surprises it holds. And as I find them, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably do a, a video soon of this thing starting up, let you hear it. But I'm excited, guys. This is a really cool car to have in the collection, and I'm so excited to have it. So hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it today, and I will see you later. Take care.